In this video, I bravely cross a bridge. I find a used car in my price range. And I wander aimlessly on a hill. Today, I'm in Killarney Provincial Park to explore the Granite Ridge Trail, a 2 km or 1.2 mile trail that offers sweeping views of Georgian Bay and the La Cloche Mountains. And I share a little bit of the area's history and talk about the flora and fauna that visitors can find here. The initial segment of the trail was the ancient shoreline of glacial Lake Nipissing, approximately 9,000 years ago. You might think of it as Lake Huron's predecessor. The land, which was once pressed down by the immense weight of glaciers, has gradually rebounded from its original lake level. Today, these ancient shores stand approximately 30 meters or 100 feet above the waters of Lake Huron. Around 1858, Catherine Solomon and Miles Tyson established their homestead on this land. Here, they tended to cattle, pigs, and chickens. Adjacent to their crop field, they carefully planted these neat rows of pine and spruce trees, all starting from seedlings. The road to Killarney was not built until the mid-1960s, but these two cars made it here a long time before that. This one is said to be a 1940s era Dodge and probably got here from Manitoulin Island by crossing the ice-covered Georgian Bay. The remnant frame of the other car is said to belong to a 1931 Chevrolet. I resume my hike and my attention turns again to the trees that make up this forest. Despite the thin soil cover and the windswept conditions of this Georgian Bay shoreline, hardy trees like these pine, cedar, maple, hemlock, oak, and birch all seem to do just fine. And they create an ideal habitat for over 35 species of bird. Well, it looks like I found the granite part of the Granite Ridge Trail. Nice pink granite, really interesting forest all around. So this being a provincial park, I decided not to bring Mickey on this hike. It, uh, it would mean that he'd have to be on a leash the whole time, which I have no problem with, but it's just really hard to film, use the camera equipment while I've got him sort of tethered to me. And for similar reasons, I'm not flying the drone. You're not allowed to fly a drone in a provincial park. I'm going to maybe just get outside the park boundaries a little bit later on and see if I can get a few aerial shots. We'll see if that works out. These aerial shots were taken from well outside the park boundaries, but serve to illustrate the rugged beauty of the area. I want to give a shout out to my friend Age of Age's Adventures out on Vancouver Island. When I see his uh, hiking videos, I'm always awe-inspired by the uh, size of the trees and just the forest composition in general. And uh, I don't think we have anything in Ontario that can quite compare to what he's got out there. But I have to say, when I get into forest like this, it does remind me a little bit of the stuff I've seen in his videos. And uh, makes me feel pretty good. Yeah, hi Age. Hope you're doing well. Off of the loop of the trail is a dead-end section that leads to this lookout, and it is worth the short walk. Georgian Bay sits to the south, and it offers sheltered waters along a spectacular shoreline. And just a few steps to the north, we can see once again the La Cloche Mountains. Over two billion years old, the white quartzite hills were once taller than the Rockies before glaciers eroded them down. In contrast, the pink granite beneath me is just 1.5 billion years old, and paddlers can see where the two rock types meet beneath the surface of George Lake. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.